Marcus by Goldman Sachs offers one of the most popular online savings accounts. Today we'll look into the details of this account by highlighting its perks and any shortcomings. By the end of this video, we'll help you better understand if this is the right place for you to store your money. Now let's get into it. If you're seeking a savings account with competitive interest rates and a simple online banking platform, then Marcus might be right for you. For some background, Marcus is a high yield savings account offering from Goldman Sachs, which is one of the largest global financial institutions. Now high yield savings accounts or HYSAs are mostly online only and generally offer much higher APY rates versus the traditional brick and mortar banks. For those who may not know, APY stands for annual percentage yield. This is essentially the interest amount or percentage you'll earn after one year once your deposited money grows with compound interest. At this point in time, the APY for most high yield savings accounts is greater than 4%, whereas the national average for traditional savings accounts is 0.4%, according to this calculator from Marcus. Here you can see the interest you'll earn in only one year after depositing $10,000. So clearly Marcus is the winner when compared with these basic banks. Now signing up for this account may sound like a no brainer, but here are a few things to consider before doing so. Firstly, these APY rates are variable meaning they can and will fluctuate with the economy. At this point in time, the Central Bank of the United States, the Fed, is working to combat inflation by increasing interest rates. With higher interest rates, consumers tend to borrow and spend less money, which drives down demand, which then lowers overall prices and thus reduces inflation. This act by the Fed has a ripple effect across the entire economy, also impacting banks like Marcus, which then need to increase their APY rates to attract customers to gather more deposits. Although APYs are high right now, back in mid-2022, APY rates with Marcus and other HYSAs were below 1%. Another point to consider is that the IRS considers this interest as taxable income, so you won't be able to keep every single penny after tax season. By the way, the founder of Goldman Sachs was named Marcus Goldman. So here's Marcus, just a little fun fact. Hearing all this information about HYSAs probably has you thinking, how do these accounts offer such high interest rates? What's the catch? And truthfully, there's really no catch at all. Without going into too much detail, when you deposit money into a bank account, banks take your money and use a portion to provide loans to other individuals and businesses, typically at a higher interest rate than what they offer you. Since Marcus is online only, it doesn't have to worry about any expenses to maintain physical branches or hire bank tellers. This means expenses are lower overall, so they can use these higher interest rates to attract customers like you and me. Now I've had an HYSA account with Marcus since mid 2019, so I've seen quite a few evolutions of its user interface, ups and downs with APY rates, you name it. Through all these changes, I've continued to keep my account open. Here's why you might want to consider Marcus as well. First off, your deposits are safe. They are FDIC insured up to $250,000. Although extremely unlikely, if Marcus or Goldman Sachs ever failed as a bank, the FDIC would reimburse you up to $250,000. High level, there's no risk to using an HYSA so long as you're within whatever the total limit is for FDIC insurance. Other perks include unlimited withdrawals of your money, no monthly maintenance fees, no minimum deposit, and also same day transfers up to $100,000 to your Marcus account or from your Marcus account. For any incoming transfers, you start earning interest on the day that the request is received. Another perk is that you are able to set up your direct deposit with your employer to take your paycheck money and put it directly into your Marcus account. To actually set up an account, the process is very fast. There's no credit check and you're also able to name beneficiaries. And looking at the APY rate, the rate itself is competitive and generally adjusts based on the market and the economy pretty quickly. In looking at the web app or mobile app, they are intuitive, they're simple, very easy to use. It's essentially no frills user interface. It's straight to the point. You can schedule transfers to or from your account. You can visualize and see the amount of interest you've earned by month, year to date. Lastly, if ever necessary, the customer service is available 24 seven through a call center. You likely won't run into any problems at all with your HYSA. I haven't had to call in the four years I've had this account, but based on my research, Marcus customer service is top tier and nothing to worry about. Although this savings account has its perks, make sure to stick around to hear about some of the shortcomings. As with most HYSAs, the cons are generally based around lack of convenience, especially when compared with traditional banks. Firstly, with Marcus, there is no checking account available. All this means is you really can't use this platform as your go-to for everyday banking. But again, the whole point of this account is really just a place to store your savings. 
Also, as mentioned, this is an online only bank, meaning there's no physical branches of Marcus where you can go in and speak to a bank teller. Also, there aren't any debit cards or ATM cards. You'll actually have to take your funds from the savings account, transfer it over to a checking account with another bank, and then you can go and do ATM withdrawals and things like that. Lastly, looking at APY rates, although generally much higher than traditional savings accounts, the rates can go up, they can go down. It really all depends on the economic environment. Okay, so you've heard the good and the bad. Now let's see how Marcus stacks up against competitors. In comparing Marcus with Ally, really the biggest difference I see is with Ally, you can use its buckets feature. With these buckets, you earn interest on all of your savings, but you're able to allocate different savings amounts as you build towards a specific financial goal. For instance, you might be saving up for a bachelor party, vacation to Spain, house down payment, or really anything like that. And with this feature, you can actually visualize your savings progress. Going back to Marcus, the web app is a lot more plain, really no frills. All kind of depends on how you like to visualize your financial progress. Additionally, Ally Bank also offers a checking account, whereas Marcus does not. One of the main complaints I see about Ally Bank though is that its APY rate is generally a tad lower than competitors. Sometimes they're not as quick to adjust as well, but overall, it's also a very good option. Next, in looking at SoFi, its APY is typically higher than a lot of the competition. One caveat is that you need to connect your SoFi account to direct deposit to receive whatever advertised APY rate you see. At this point in time, the APY rate is 4.3%, but if you don't connect direct deposit, you only get 1.2%. SoFi essentially does this to entice you to keep them as your go-to savings platform. There's also a sign-up bonus available after you connect direct deposit. You can either receive $50 or $250. Here you can see the criteria. It's all up to how much money that you direct deposit within those first 25 days. When compared with Marcus, I do think that SoFi's app is a little bit less intuitive. So again, if you're not great with tech, Marcus could have the upper hand. Lastly, we can compare with Capital One 360. One of the best perks about this Capital One high yield savings account is that there are a small number of physical branches. These are mainly located on the east coast of the United States, but when able, you can go and speak with a physical bank teller. And that's something that separates this HYSA from a lot of competitors. One con I noticed actually on Reddit was that in the past, there was a legacy savings account through Capital One, which was then upgraded to what they call the 360 performance savings. At the time of this transition, customers all received an email stating that they needed to update their account in order to receive any updated APY rates. For whatever reason, some of these customers overlooked this email and didn't realize until years later that they were locked into a much lower APY rate. This isn't necessarily Capital One's fault, but this story really stood out to me as something that could be a concern when considering that option. Above all, high yield savings accounts like Marcus can be an excellent risk-free place to store your money. Whether or not Marcus is the right choice is up to you, but in my personal experience and a lot of the research I've seen, you really can't go wrong. As always, make sure to do your own research beyond just a YouTube video before signing up for an HYSA, credit card, or any other financial product. Thanks for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed and also check out this video.